So today we're going to show you how to edit the pitch and timing of your vocals using the ARA version of Repitch from within Logic Pro. Now, if you're using an older version of Logic, please refer to the manual for instructions on how to capture audio with previous versions of Logic. Also, as ARA plugins are currently not supported in Logic on M1 Max, you will need to be running in Rosetta 2 mode on an M1 Mac. That is, of course, at the time that I'm doing this video. Lastly, this video is to help get you started. For more in-depth tutorials can be found on our website. So let's get to it. Before we start processing, let's listen to what we're working with. Just cause I don't want you first It doesn't mean I won't find another I don't wanna know your name Don't need your dreams, no You can keep your number Okay, so on the whole, I think that's a really great vocal performance, but let's say for sake of demonstration that we want this to be tuned to 100%, and we wanna do this in the most transparent and natural way possible. So we're working in Logic, which is an ARA-based DAW, so we're gonna use the ARA version of Repitch in order to get this audio sent from Logic into Repitch. I'm gonna head over to the Audio Effects section, we'll scroll down to Audio Units, and we will scroll up to Synchro Arts, and let's choose Repitch AU ARA. This is a mono track, so we're going to use a mono instance. So now before we transfer our audio, there's a couple different options that we have. If we want to do any pre-processing, then we can use a macro. So Synchro Arts have included some macros in the vocal category over here. Notice this one, for example, snap all to note centers 100%. This would be snapping the entire performance to the nearest note, and this would be based on a chromatic scale. But in this case, I'm actually going to choose no pre-process because I wanna use some of these tools over here to do our editing. Now, in terms of getting the audio sent over, basically all we have to do is do a quick start and stop with the space bar, and then the audio will be transferred from Logic into Repitch. What you, babe? So now you can see we have our entire vocal performance in the Repitch window. Now before we get started, a couple quick navigation tips. Holding Option Command on a Mac or Alt Control on a PC gives us the ability to do a dynamic zoom and this is both horizontal and vertical. Holding Shift Command or Shift Control on a PC gives us the option to click, hold and drag to reposition. If you wanted to focus on a very specific section, like let's say this area over here, and I wanted to create a cycle range in Logic that's followed, I can simply click the Y key. Notice that this has created a cycle range in Logic that is now following this selection. In addition, if I wanted to focus on a very specific section and I wanted to zoom that horizontally, we could click the Z key and this will bring that particular area into view. And of course, we can use a combination of all of these combined to see exactly what we need to see. Now, in terms of engaging playback, there's a couple different ways. We can double click directly from within the editor to engage playback and double click again or use a space bar to stop. Or we can place our playhead in the timeline in Repitch and as you see over here, this is something that's being followed in Logic. So let's have a quick listen to this vocal in isolation so we can identify any tuning issues. Just cause I don't want you, babe, it doesn't mean I won't find another. I don't want to know your name. Don't need your drinks, no. All right, so there's a couple issues that we need to take care of. In this particular case, I'm actually going to make a selection across all of the pitch blocks, and I'm going to use the center notes tool. Now, when I use the center note tool, watch what happens with these pitches. They're just being knocked into place at 100%. So, let's have a listen to this at 100%. Just cause I don't want you, babe. It doesn't mean I won't find another. I don't want to know your name. Don't need your drinks, no. You can keep your number. Okay, so I think that sounds pretty good. And as a reminder, just to where we began, if I pull this slider down, you'll notice that we can see these notes being pushed into place. And this is, of course, following a chromatic scale. So I only heard one adjustment that I want to make, and that is this section right over here. I'm going to temporarily switch to the split tool by using the S key, and I'm just going to place a small split over here, because this pitch block was interpreted as one pitch. I'll click the S key again to return myself to my main tool, and I'm going to double click to snap this back to where it was. While we're at it, I notice this little jagged edge here. Let's use the draw tool and let's just smooth that out. Let's have a quick listen. Just cause I don't want you, babe. It doesn't mean I won't find another. I don't wanna know your name. Don't need your drinks, no. You can keep your number. Okay, so let's say that I'm happy with this. The next step would be committing. I'm gonna close the editor for a moment. And in Logic, the best way to do this is by using a bounce in place workflow. I'm going to right click this region and we will choose bounce in place. We'll go with the default settings for now. 
we will go ahead and render this. And now we have our newly created audio track that has the tuning changes rendered into this file. This original track is no longer needed. I'm going to choose the H option and let's go ahead and hide this. And now let's listen back to our final results. Just cause I don't want you but it doesn't mean I won't find another I don't wanna know your name Don't need your dreams, no You can keep your number So that's using Repitch in Logic. Hope you enjoyed this video and we'll catch you in the next one.